Hello, it's Dr. Clark here again. Um, I had a request from a student asking if it was possible to automatically select areas of data. Um, and of course, uh, Chart is a clever program, and the answer is yes. So I'm just going to quickly show you using the uh, data we have here of the um, dynamic exercise practical. Um, to show you how to select uh, data automatically. Of course, this is entirely dependent upon you having correct uh, comments. And you can see here we've got comments written at baseline, load 1, load 0, load 1, load 2, load 3, etc. up to the end of the experiment. Um, so uh, everything I want to show you here is dependent on having correct uh, comments. Uh, but let's just, just, just go through it quickly now. So have a look at the... Uh, the heart rate channel in particular. So let's just say we want to select um, the data on the heart rate channel only um, 15 seconds before the change of each of these loads. So we'll assume uh, for now that I uh, or the, the user here placed comment 4 at the right time exactly when load switched to the higher load etc etc. Uh, and it's a very quick way of doing it. It's not going to be a very long uh, tutorial, this one. You go to the Commands menu and choose Find. You click on Find and you want to find a comment. You want to search for a comment. You could find data, you could find comments, or you could find event markers, but we want to find comments. And we're looking for the term Load 0. And we are going to select 15 seconds before okay and we're going to select not all channels just this channel and we're going to um, scroll it so that it is in the center of the view so we're going to click find and there we are it's found the word load naught and it's selected the 15 seconds prior to this and of course now we can go up into the uh, commands and we can add to datapad at this point so there we are that selected the uh, heart rate data. Now we can go back up to commands again and we can look for it again. Instead of looking for load naught, we could look for load one, for instance, and it will select all of load one. Of course, I'm relying on me having the correct uh, words written here. Of course, in command, you could just look for the word load. And of course, it would find load naught. You could then find the next one, load one, find the next one, load two find the next one, load 3, and it's going to select the place at load, highlight the 15 seconds prior to uh, that data marker, and then carry on, and of course each time you can add it to the data pad. So I hope that helps. Um, stay tuned for more of these, uh, these little helpy things. Thanks.